Hello boys and girls, welcome to your least common multiple video lesson on in your rational numbers unit. This is 4-8 in your Glencoe Course 2 textbook. And the target is I can find the least common multiple of two or more numbers. So this is the opposite, kind of, of our greatest common factor. So instead of greatest, we're looking at least. And instead of factor, we're looking at multiple. So we're looking for the smallest number that both numbers can be multiplied to. Multiple. Here's some vocab for you. A multiple is the product of a number and any whole number. So for example, if we were looking for multiples of 2, say 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And so on and so forth. 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on are all multiples of the number 2. The least common multiple is when you're looking at two or more numbers and you're looking for the least, the smallest number that they share in their multiples, not including 0, because all numbers are going to have a multiple of 0, because when you multiply any number by 0, you get 0. So we are not including 0 here. So if we were asked to find the least common multiple of 6 and 10, there are two methods that we can do to find that. The first is to just list the non-zero multiples. So if I have 6, can list them. So not including 0, we would say 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 3 is 18, 4 is 24, 5 is 30, 6 is 36, and so on. For 10, our multiples are 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So we look for the smallest, the least, number that they both multiply to that they have in common, least common multiple. So we look left to right, and we see 30 and 30. So 6 and 10 share a least common multiple, the smallest number they both multiply to, of 30. Another method is use prime factorization. So I could find 6, prime factors are 2 and 3, 10, prime factors are 2 and 5, and what I do is I find the least product that contains the prime factors of each number. So I see a 2, a 3, since that 2 repeats there I don't include it, but I do include the 5. So it's 2 times 3 times 5, which is 6 times 5 using order of operations, which is 30. So notice both ways I find a least common multiple of 30. The prime factorization way is a little tricky if you do not remember to exclude the one that shows up twice in a number. It's a little tricky and we'll look at it going forward. So now we're going to find the least common multiple of 45 and 75. And so again, you can use the methods of listing the multiples or the method of using prime factorization. Right now, I'm going to go with prime factorization because I think that's the one that's a little bit trickier. And so I want to show that again. So if I have 45, I have 3 and 15, which is 3 and 5. So this is... 3 times 3 times 5. If I have 75, that's 3 and 25, which is 5 and 5, for 3 times 5 times 5. So my prime factorizations are 3 squared times 5 and 3 times 5 squared if I write them out using exponents. So what I do, and it says right here, is the least common multiple is the product of prime factors 3 and 5. With each one raised to the highest power, it occurs in either prime factorization. That's the tricky part. So since they both have 3 and they both have 5, I pick the one to the highest power in each. And so I have 3 squared times 5 squared, so that's really 9 times 25 which is 225. 
so this is kind of a large number and shows how tricky this can be, is that the least common multiple, the smallest number that 45 and 75 multiply to, is 225. So go ahead and give these ones a try using either method that you choose, and then come back to check in. So let's find the least common multiple of each set of numbers. 3 and 12, these are small, so I don't mind listing the multiples, knowing that 3 multiples are 3, 6, 9, 12. And since I see 12, I feel pretty good about that. So then I do 12. Those multiples are 12, 24. And I don't need to continue because I already see that they have a common 1 of 12. So the least common multiple of 3 and 12 is 12. 10 and 12. So I could list them out or I could do prime factorization. This is 2 and 5. This is 2, 2 and 3. So again, I have 2 times 5 and 2 squared times five, 3. So I pick the one, since they both have 2, this is the, the least common, the highest power rather. And then I have 3 and 5. So I really have... 4 times 3 times 5, which is 12 times 5, which is 60. So notice again, they both had 2, but 2 squared is the highest power, so I choose that 2 instead. Next one, 25 is 5 and 5, or 5 squared. 30 is 2 and 15, 3 and 5. So we have 5 squared and 2 times 3 times 5. Since they both have, this one just has 2, this one just has 3. They both have 5, but this one's the highest power. So I'm doing 2 times 3 times 5 squared, which is 6 times 25, which is 150. So the least common multiple here of 25 and 30 is 150, the smallest number they both multiply to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now let's learn about Lucy, and this is a real word problem um, about planning for a party. So Lucy needs to buy paper plates, napkins, and cups for her party. Plates come in packages of 12, napkins come in packages of 16, and cups come in packages of 8. What is the least number of packages she will have to buy if she wants to have the same number of plates, napkins, and cups? So, again, we're given important information about plates, about napkins, about cups, and we're wondering about the least number she'll have to give if she wants the same number. So, again, we're looking for least common multiple of all of these things. So, we find the least common multiple of the 12 plates so if I want to maybe do my factor tree instead of the listing so I have 2 and 6 2 and 3 so the factors there are 2 squared times 3 and then of my 16 napkin pack crazy there. So I have 2 to the 4th power. And then I have my 8 cup packages. That is the same as 2 to the 3rd power. So what I see is that the least common multiple of 8, 12, and 16 is we both have 2, but this is to the highest power, so I pick 2 to the 4th. And this one has 3. So the least common multiple is 2 to the 4th times 3. That's really tricky. So you have to look, do they sh share the same factor? Which one's the highest power? And so that is the same as 16 times 3, which is 48. So the least common multiple here is 48. So... If we were to find the number of packages that Lucy needs to buy, 
we are going to divide 48 by the amount in each package. So for cups, 48 divided by 8, she needs 6 packages. For plates, 48 divided by 12 come in those, she needs 4 packages. And if she needs them to move over here for napkins, 48 and they come in 16, she needs three packages. So Ling is going to need six packages of cups, four packages of plates, and three packages of napkins. So I got a little messy and I apologize, but hopefully you can do even better than me because you are great. So Rewatch for better understanding, read the examples in the book, and check out those personal tutors. You are awesome.